right now excuse, you have to excuse the weird facial expressions that are going on. I can see it up there in the screen. I've got something called Bell Palsy, Bell's Palsy. Randomly, um, I, I've lost function of some of the muscles in my face on the one side of my face, so when I smile, it's all on this side, which is great. That, that happened like two days ago when I woke up in the morning. Apparently it's caused by stress and it will go away, um, hopefully soon. And it's hard to keep food in my mouth, it's not pleasant. Anyway, so yeah, I look like Popeye for Christ's sake. Okay guys, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa. This is a short update video to kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, insight into what's been going on in my life um, recently and why I haven't been uploading any videos and like what I want to do this year. So yeah, let me turn this Drake music off. Okay, so the last time I uploaded was Christmas and a lot of things have happened between then and now. And um, I guess the main thing I need to tell you guys is that I haven't I haven't been happy for a long time and I don't want to be the complainy guy because I know I have very little to complain about but um, everything's kind of just been weighing down pretty heavy on me recently and I've not been my usual perky self I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that gradually over time I've become less tolerant of things and grumpy and uploading less, less motivated, and there's so many different factors that contribute to what I end up doing with my life and how I end up feeling and communicating and all of these things and who I am. And it's life. You are a product of your environment and all of the things that you do and the information you take on board. Um, and something I've forgotten recently is that you have a choice with how you um, process this information that's constantly coming at you all the time through life. And I've just not been opting for the positives a lot of the time. I've just been skeptical and bleak at the whole state of humanity at the moment and all the cuck that's going on in the world has just been eating away at me a little bit. But mostly I've not been dealing with my time very well and I've not been making time for myself, my health, my body, my mind and it's all just gotten way too much and got on top of me with trying to launch new companies and I've tried to do, I've tried to walk, I've tried to run before I could walk and I thought by 31 I knew how to run by now, but I don't, we're still learning. We're moving out of this house, this Woodstock house. Um, I also had an accident, which I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you know about already, but I fractured my, my elbow and I know how, now have seven screws and a plate in there, which if you had x-ray eyes, you'd see this. Luckily they didn't get my, my little tattoo on the side there. And I'm not gonna go into details, but basically I was buggering around and the irony is I had uh, too much confidence and not enough ability. I'll show you this tattoo. Anyway, so I fractured my arm, my elbow. I've never broken a bone before in my body. I've never spent an overnight in hospital. That was weird. But I have a huge appreciation for the um, amazing humans that put people back together on a daily basis and don't even think twice about it. Especially emergency procedures. Can you imagine? Like, anyway, doctors are incredible. Nurses are incredible. We just put my elbow back together with some plates in it. And I can feel them in there a little bit. So right now, that's as straight as it goes. You can still see there's sun bruising. This whole area was purple. Um, so, and I can get it to there and I'm stretching it out every day. I'm doing my, my rehab. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've lost a lot of muscle tissue in the, in the one side of my body. Anyway, there's also been a lot of other things going on. So, okay, something else I want to talk about, which is slightly more difficult to talk about, is that Nicole and I have decided that we are going to be friends. Uh, not boyfriend and girlfriend. So that's, that's a tough one. It's, it's all for the greater good. And it's, it's just, it's not been a long time coming. There's no love loss. We just feel like we're friends. And uh, I'm not really gonna go into much more detail about that, except know that there, no, no drama's gone down. There's nothing bad between us. We're chatting, we're 
like I really want us to be friends, Nicole does as well, we're going to hopefully be doing like stuff together in the future, Nicole is going to continue vlogging and smashing Instagram and all of that and I'm also going to continue that, I'm going to stay here in Cape Town and yeah, I'm moving out of this house, um, Jeremy and I are moving out of here, he's moving elsewhere, so that's hectic, it's been like three years, two and a half years in this house I think, <clears throat> so there's that and um, I've confirmed an apartment that I'm moving to on Monday. I need to pack, that's like four days away. It's just a little shoebox, one bedroom with a garage, uh, but it's near the ocean, so I'm stoked. But I'm gonna miss this place so much. Me and Jeremy have had so many good times together with all our friends here. But it's time to move on. A new chapter, a new place, and... Oh, and other news. Ta-da! I got sent a really lacquer drone. This video is not about droning, this is an update video. But just so you know, this little puppy, I've been flying and had my accident and I came off the bike. That's how it happened, buggering around. Came off the bike, landed straight on the elbow. Wasn't wearing a jacket or any protective gear. I would have my helmet on, of course, and gloves and stuff, but learning lessons the hard way this year, again. Seems the only way I need to, I can learn lessons is the hard way. Um, anyway, all I've been able to do, because it's been in the sling, is like drone. <laughs> so I've been getting a few nice drone clips with this um, around Cape Town, trying to fly over the ocean and be a little bit more responsible, not over, over towns and stuff. And you guys can expect a, um, a drone video from me soon, but that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't just want to start uploading videos again without explaining everything that's been going on and I now have an understanding and an empathy for people who suffer from, not that I am depressed or suffering too much from anxiety, but I certainly have been feeling the physical effects of anxiety more than, well, for the first time ever. And it's given me a real empathy for how people suffer from anxiety and how um, it can really make physical your concerns and you feel it really, really hard, so. And some days I've not been wanting to leave my bedroom for the whole day. I've just been wanting to sleep in, and it, and I, I'm not, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not. I'm just explaining that like everybody can go through this kind of this kind of situation. It doesn't matter how perfect someone's life may seem. Um, there's there's often more to it than you think. So next time you check someone who's angry at you in the traffic, or is not looking so happy. Um, just don't just assume that they've that they're a grumpy person. Like, it, life is tough sometimes, and uh, I certainly have had it very easy. Um, but life can be tough in all sorts of different ways. So, but onwards and upwards, we're going to be fine. We're going to be lacquer. And thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know this YouTube channel is all over the place. Um, but I actually want to just I want to go back to basics this year. I don't want to film stuff. I want to film and. And I want to get my visual vibes frequency, upload frequency, more more visual vibes basically I want to do this year. Shorter ones, beautiful little ones that I chuck together and don't spend like... I mean the, the Kenya visual vibes is going to be insane. I hope it's going to be as insane as I think it's going to be. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it as much as I hope. Because I mean Flip, we put so much work into this and um, it, it's looking like it's going to be over 20 minutes long. I keep having to pause this video every few minutes and use this pizza box to fan this Sony RX100 Mark V which produces beautiful 4K footage, but it overheats. Anyway, less complaining, more raining. In other news, we don't have any rain down here in Cape Town, we need water. Uh, and it's gonna be fine, I think. I'm kind of hoping that we get to day zero and run out because I feel like that's the only way that people are actually gonna wake up and realize how much, the, the sheer volume of water that we use on a daily basis is crazy. And it's been fairly, I mean, it's, I found it really easy to stick to under 50 liters a day. But obviously, like, a lot more of the population either aren't interested or don't know about the problem. Anyways. South Africa. But in other news, Zuma, President Zuma, resigned last night on Valentine's Day, which is great news. Yo, you guys, and, it, and if you're not keeping up with South African politics, I don't really keep up with any much politics, to be honest, unless it's like super public, but Zuma, 
If I could z sum up Zuma in one word, it would be corruption. Yeah, it's good news for South Africa. And the new president is Cyril Ramaphosa. Um, hopefully he will do a lot better job. So I'm gonna be aim to be doing, I don't know, like a few videos a month. We'll just see how it goes. At the moment, I'm really feeling like with my face not working, my broken arm, and everything that's going on right now with moving house and stuff, there's is, is just so much going down. Finishing the Kenya visual vibes, which by the way, is gonna be so sick. I'm not gonna promise any frequency of uploading and I'm just gonna make videos when and where I want to do them, but I will definitely be doing a new apartment tour. I will be um, near the ocean, so we're gonna be right next to it. I'm gonna be like literally a five minute walk from sunset every night. Um, and I'm gonna be in a part of town that's way more healthy and <clears throat> Woodstock's great. I love Woodstock, but it's Woodstock. Like it's, it's pretty intense. Um, so being near the ocean where I can run, I'm gonna be close to my company Atlantic Outlook, which is my new kayak tour company. It's going so well. Thank you so much to everybody who's come on a kayak tour with us so far. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope you guys are doing good. I will chat to you guys in the next video. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I will see you soon. I love you guys, goodbye.